So for those of you who caught the live stream, this is going to sound a little bit repetitive. And if you missed it, there's going to be a link down in the description for what all went down. Because, you know, I like talking with my viewers live sometimes. And, you know, you don't get to miss the conversation that way. Anyway, what happened during the course of that live stream is I took this machine, which was running Windows 20H2, which is the build number I'm referring to, by the way. And I took it down to version 1903, as we can see here on Winver. And pretty much why I did this was because of the problem I had in my last video concerning the precision, which is USB-C not working properly. Now, why I did this and what the conclusions I came to are basically because I didn't, I thought something was not quite right because I remember this used to work. Like, I used to be fine with USB-C. I've had an Android phone with USB-C, and I noticed that this only started happening as of last year, because I've had this machine since November 2019. I got to thinking, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to install older v Windows versions to try and suss out what's going on here. Because if we go to this PC, I've got a spare drive just chilling in there, and that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just going to install Windows 10 version by version on that drive until I find the one that kind of breaks everything. And as it would turn out, that version is 2004, which is the last major feature update before 20H2. Why does this happen? Because what I guess happened was there was a thing going on with direct memory access, aka DMA, and Thunderbolt 3, and Microsoft kind of changed the way DMA works in 2004 and i'm talking about the build not the year so intel had to like push some fixes i believe basically microsoft and intel both had to fix things up and such like that so those fixes for thunderbolt kind of blew back and hit usb c so that's why we're having problems because if we turn the laptop around here you can see that that is a thunderbolt icon there but that is a Thunderbolt icon, so those ports are one and the same. They are shared. So what affects Thunderbolt may affect USB-C, and that's exactly what happened. Because when I rolled back to 1903, I didn't try 1909, and I probably should have, it, everything works again. Like, nothing's the matter anymore. It all works as it should. And I'm going to demonstrate for that, that for you right now, because I've got the Problematic Hub and my Problematic Pixel 4a. Because... I could try the controllers all over again, but those really didn't throw any problems. So let's just jump right in, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the Pixel first. Keeping in mind, again, we are running 1903. So here's my Pixel. I already have it set to the USB preferences page. I'm going to plug it in. Picks it up. No disconnecting. So I'm going to go ahead and change it over to file transfer. And look at that. It works. I'll go load up my music. Like, it's just doing everything. It's perfectly fine. All right. And just so we know it's not a fluke, even though I've actually redone this video a handful of times already, just so you guys can see it, it's still active because normally this would gray out if it disconnected. It's there. So it's actually working. So let's go ahead and try our problematic hub, shall we? So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here, Ethernet cable, to connect to the Ethernet jack on this thing. And you'll notice we are connected to Wi-Fi currently. If I plug this in, switch to wired. So this is working. We've got a USB cable over here. Connect that up. You know, just for uh, shits and giggles, we'll use the Pixel again. There it is. So now we're connecting two problem devices up to each other, and as you can see, they it's working. Let's try my iPod. See? Do not disconnect. So it is working. It takes a minute for it to pick up, unfortunately. But as you can see, there it is, popping out of an explorer. I don't need you to sync, just, just give me back my iPod. It's dang pods would say, give me back the boy. All right. And last, but absolutely not least, this is where I had problems too, my iPhone. Hey man, 
In case you ever wondered where Manly was, he's right there. He's in my phone. I found him. Uh, a few of my subscribers will get that one. Anyway, okay. And normally what I had to do before is I had to plug my iPhone in to the cable before I plugged it into the computer. So we're going to see what happens just doing it the wrong way. Oh, oh, there it is. It actually works, even doing it the wrong way. So the conclusion I've come to is that the reports that Windows, the newer versions of Windows 2004 and 20H2 kind of mess with Thunderbolt and it blows back on USB-C are valid. I don't know if this affects just the Alpine Ridge Thunderbolt controller, because that's what's in here. This is a Skylake system, but if you have the same problems with your machine, I'd like to know in what generation your machine is, KB Lake or whatever it is, because I'm starting to think this is a problem that only affects like the first gen Thunderbolt devices or Thunderbolt 3 devices. Later controllers are perfectly fine. They don't have any of these issues, but the Skylake ones do. So that's my hypothesis, and I hope I've, I've alerted Microsoft and Dell and Intel on Twitter. I've pinged their help accounts and hoping they'll get back to me such that I can tell them, hey, something's not quite right here in the newer versions of Windows. This is all broken. So what I've done is not only have I rolled this back to 1903, but I've also blocked feature updates for a year on this thing until hopefully comes a time Microsoft fixes the issue. Because the reason I care about being on a newer version is because I do use Game Pass quite a bit. So I need 1903 at a minimum to be on here. And you can't get that in LTSC just yet so unfortunately you have to just downgrade block feature updates and pray that Microsoft doesn't get around it somehow so that's pretty much it for this video again link to the live stream will be below and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and the VOD of the live stream and well I'll see you guys later